Okay guys, so I ordered this cauliflower crust from this company called Cauliflower Foods and I got the Italian and here are the counts on the back. Very low in carbs and that's for a third of the crust. There's the fat and here's the crust. Oh, I'm zoomed in. I have it on a pan um, that has the holes in it to get it to cook better and it must have cheese in it. Um, it likes has all these seasonings like I haven't cooked this yet and it looks cooked. So um, you cook the crust first and then you put the toppings on and it goes back in. I found this great value um, pizza sauce and it's the lowest carbs that I can find on them. So it's four grams of carb um, with one fiber so three net carbs although it does have some sugar in it. Um, in the serving size is a fourth of a cup so I am going to use some of this. I made up my own sauce and it's frozen. I forgot to pull it out of the freezer that's way low in carbs. Okay so I'm using Kraft mozzarella cheese. Here's the carb count on the back. This Hormel pepperoni has no carbs. I got these early California sliced um, black olives and there's no carbs in these. And I am going to use some organic sliced mushrooms. There are some carbs. I think there's two carbs in... But there may be no net carbs. I can't remember when I was looking at this. Um, so I'm putting those and banana peppers. Okay, so I cooked the crust. It almost looks black, but we'll see how it tastes. And I've loaded this bad boy up and we're going to put it in the oven. Hopefully the crust won't be too burnt. And it definitely has cheese and it has mozzarella cheese. Okay, here it is out of the oven. I think it'll do better like picking it up if you let it cool down a little bit, like the crust, because it said to cool it down before you put your toppings on, and when I did, it was pretty solid. Okay, here's the finished product, and here's my gigantic bite I took out of it, and seriously, I can't even taste the cauliflower in it. Um, it's a pretty cheesy crust, but it, it holds up pretty much. I mean, it's not going to be traditional pizza, but um, this is... Pretty good, really. Worth ordering. Hi guys, I'm on Amazon again. I'm getting things to make low carb everything bagels. So I'm getting this IsoPure Zero Carb Protein Powder, unflavored, and for $14.41. Silicone baking pan um, for donuts, but I'm gonna put dough in there. And then Trader Joe's everything but the bagel sesame, but the bagel sesame seasoning. Um, for 216 and I'm watching Keto Connect watching her show how to make them. I picked up this Isopure whey protein on Amazon. I'll link all this stuff down below so if you want to order this you can and this is um, carb free. I know it's got a lot of protein but I bought them to go with this. I'm gonna make some bagels and I got the recipe um, online which I'll link down below and they use this in the mix and it just looked delicious. Okay I'm mixing up my dough for my bagels. Okay here's my bagels and my um, little silicone holders. We're gonna put them in the oven. Let's see how they turn out. Okay here's my bagels. They did overflow <laughs> but you know what I don't really care. They smell amazing. It says to let them cool 10 minutes and then pop them out. So we'll see what they taste like. Okay, here's the bagels. They look pretty bag bagel-like, except for the, like, protrusions here. Um, cut one open and see what it looks like. Okay, here it is cut open. I'm going to taste it. Let you know how it is. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put cream cheese on this and eat it. I think I might toast it. Might be good toasted. Okay, toasting this is the way to go. I may have over toasted it a little bit, but um, it really crisps it up. Freaking, these are amazing. I'll put the link down um, to the recipe and to the video from KetoConnect.com. Go check them out on YouTube. They're freaking amazing. Okay, I'm making this overnight oats. Um, here's my little containers. I use chai seeds, um, honest syrup, and 
I used um, a scoop of peanut butter powder and I'll link the recipe below and you put it in these cups oh hemp hearts and you shake it up and then you let it um, set overnight or like 12 or 14 hours something like that and it's really good it's pretty similar to oatmeal okay it's very early in the morning but I wanted to show you the oatmeal this next morning like yesterday it would shake up it's completely thick now and it's delicious all right I did carry in for work I brought um the bagels I made and the oatmeal there's three of us here nurses that are doing keto I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but this is a tiny little spring form pan. I ordered, it was only like, I don't know, $10 on Amazon. And I got this for a recipe for obviously a keto dessert. Um, and it has like a, a peanut butter center. I ordered these supplements, Country Life Magnesium Potassium Aspartate. Um... I've been having like some dizzy spells and I think I'm getting dehydrated. Um, so anyways, I read somewhere that this was great to try. So, and I'm going to take this in at night before bed because I've heard it can make you sleepy, but that's okay. I'm having trouble sleeping. I picked up this honest syrup chocolate and let's see if we can read the back of it. There's... 13 carbs, but 11 fiber, and that's in a tablespoon. And guys, this is sweetened with monk fruit, and this is like fudge. It is thick and absolutely amazing. I got some low-carb ice cream. I can't wait to try it. All right, I'm having the Carb Smart Vanilla Ice Cream by Briars, one cup, and I'm having my new syrup that I got. Yum. Okay, for dinner, I have half of a ribeye steak. I measured out a tablespoon of A1 sauce, and then I sauteed some mushrooms in ghee, which is clarified butter. And then I have a glass of wine, which is no carbs and no sugar. This is what I got going. Yellowtail Merlot, $6.99. I said Merlot, but I meant Pinot Noir, if that's how you say it, not Merlot. So this cheese, it's so good. It's Sam's Choice cheese slices, mild cheddar with smoke flavor. And there's, in one slice, there's 80 calories, um, no carbs, and five grams of protein. And this stuff is amazing, it tastes so good. I don't know if you've ever had Hickory Farms, like around Christmas time. It reminds me of Hickory Farms. This is worth checking out. I got a takeout salad, which looks pretty good. I'm going to take off the tomatoes, and I asked for it without onions. I wanted to show you. The dressing has two grams of carb in the whole packet and one gram of sugar. But it's got a lot of fat, so I think that's kind of good. I also found this brand Chestnut Hill um, Hamburger Slices Kosher Dill that has no carbs. I didn't realize I was eating carbs in my pickles. Okay, I picked up these Johnsonville Cheddar with Cheddar, or Better with Cheddar smoked sausages. And they do have carbs in them, but they're not too crazy bad. They're um, two grams. But I like that the fat is almost double the protein. That's been my struggle.